What is up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of my vlog. Today we're gonna to be talking about hard work. Hard work, baby. I mean, it's the most important thing to decide whether or not you're gonna be successful or not. You know, there's no way you're you're ever gonna achieve anything meaningful in life or that has longevity if you don't work hard for it. You know, unless you're you know, you're given it on a platter then that's different I can't really speak on that but thing in in life worth having is easy to get everything takes hard work now I'm, I'm not necessarily saying that that's just physical labor okay I, I, I mean I know that I've done a whole lot of physical labor in my life you know I've done every kind of form of physical labor you can think of I've done masonry I've done roofing I've done carpentry I've done I've cleaned up after people, I've done dishes, I've, I've done every single dirty, like, you know, average physical job I've done. You know, I've, I, I started from the ground up, 100%. And, like I said, I'm not talking about just physical labor, I'm talking about there's got to be some form of hard work in what you're doing. Whether that be physical hard work, mental hard work, spiritual hard work, or or just time time consumed. I mean, even when you're putting a lot of time into something, that's still hard work, you know? That's that's something that, the, you know, the other person wanted to do, you know, that made you successful. Hard work is something that you hear a lot of people, you know, speak on others' character for, you know? Oh, like that person, man, he's got a great work ethic. He's a really hard worker. You know, the, the harder you work, the, the more respect that you're going to have from people, just non-negotiably, because hard work is an action. It's, it's not a, you know, it's not a saying, it's not, you know, a philosophy, it's not a, any of that. It's, it's, it's an action, and actions always speak louder than words. Now, me, myself, I've never shied away from hard work, because I, I have a, an amount of integrity to where, you know, no matter what the task is, bust my ass to do it the best way that I can because that's just my character. And because of that, I have done a pretty decent job of, you know, building up from what I was given. You know, in my past, I was given a pretty rough hand of cards, but because of my resilience and my hard work, I'm able to sit here now and talk to you guys and give you guys the lessons that I learned through life, you know. And I, I wouldn't be here at all if I wasn't such a hard worker. You know, I, I've, like I said, I've done every physical job under the sun that you can probably think of. And, um, you know, I, I find pride in it. You know, I, I, I don't like to do jobs where I'm just sitting on my ass all day and doing nothing you know, like an at-home job or, an, or a desk job, you know. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just, me personally, I mean, it, it might have to do with the fact that I have so much ADHD too, but, I mean, in general, I just, I, I don't like to sit around, you know, I like to be active. I, I like to be getting up, lifting something, moving something, uh, you know, whatever the case. But... If you want to, you know, if you feel like you're not the hardest worker, that you're that you're kind of a, you know, a lazy person, to be honest, and you kind of look for the, you know, the easy way out of jobs, you look for the really easy jobs, like, okay, like, like, one thing I, I hear a lot from people, guys, is, oh, well, I, I want to find a job where I can talk to the least amount of people possible, and do the least amount of work, but make the most amount of money. Now, that just doesn't make any sense. That's just a, a strategy for failure, you know, 100%. Um, so, some people really gotta dig deep and change bad habits in order to become a hard worker. Um, but I'm telling you, it, it, it pays off every time, no matter what. Hard work always pays off, you know. Even if you don't achieve something that you set your mind to achieve, the fact that you put the work in will at least give you a level of pride and you know self-respect that you didn't have before. You know, so so whenever a task is given to you, you know, especially for leadership, you know, if, if you're at work and 
a, a, you know, your leader, your boss gives you a task that you don't necessarily think is the best task or, it, you know, isn't fun or, like, why am I doing this? Instead of complaining about it, you know, find a way to accomplish the mission as soon as possible and in the most efficient way without complaining at all. And just watch how that affects your life over time. You know, uh, I talked about it in a separate video about putting your ego aside. That's huge when it comes to hard work. You know, because you can sit there and complain all day and just kind of hope that you can talk your problems away when it comes to your job and your work and stuff like that. But in all reality, all you're doing is just making the people around you respect you less. Now, I know this from experience, okay? I'll admit this. Like, I've had jobs in my past where I would be, you know, uh, working so hard, I'd be doing the most that I could. I'd be going the extra mile, I'd be doing whatever I could to make myself um, look and feel like the hardest worker in the room. But I would always complain about it. I would always be like, man, you know, like, why am I doing this when this person's doing that? Or, you know, why am I doing this task when it's not necessary? Or like, whatever the case, you know, there, there's, there's always a million reasons you can find to complain about something. And I, I, I didn't notice for a long time, but I noticed that the people around me, uh, you know, when it would come time to like uh, do those things that jobs do where they, you know, they give out that like monthly or bi-monthly or yearly even recognition awards, you know, for people that work, you know, that, that do the best job. My coworkers around me, they would always, you know, get it instead of me. And I always wondered, I was like, why are these people getting these, these awards when I'm out working them? You know, like, I, I, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. And it took me a lot of time to self-reflect, to realize that the reason why I wasn't held in regard as these other people was because of my character and my attitude, you know? If, if I would have came in and did the job that I did on a daily basis and never complained, never bitched, right? Like, never put up, you know, like, any kind of unnecessary, you know, fight or, or resistance towards leadership, I'm sure I would have had people, you know, respect me a lot more and I probably would have been in an even greater leadership position because I was able to put my ego aside for the sake of the team and the mission at hand. So think about that, you know, when... If you call yourself a hard worker, think about what kind of hard worker you are, right? Are you the type of hard worker that, you know, does the job, no complaints, team player, leader, you know? Or are you the hard worker that um, may do a great job, but there's a lot of other flaws in your character that don't allow you to shine the way that you should because of the way people look at you, you know? Um, there's a saying that people that talk the most are listened to the least. So if you're at work and you're constantly complaining about something, if you're always finding a reason to, like I said, resist leadership, you know? Now, if, if, if your leader or boss is a good leader, is a humble person, then they're gonna sit there and they're gonna explain to you the meaning behind the way they do things. If not, if they're an, an egotistical, defensive boss, then maybe it's time that you start looking for another job. You start looking for another team to work with. You know, a, a, a different uh, set of leadership. So, but at the end of the day, hard work in any form will pay off in some way. Like, yeah, I may have complained a lot with my hard work in, in my past life, but I'm still in a hell of a lot better place than where I could have been if I hadn't put in any work at all. So, don't ever discredit yourself for hard work that you put in, but just find ways to constantly hone that hard work into masterful hard work to where there's no doubting it, there's no disrespecting it, there's no misconceiving it. You, you, you're a hard worker and you're humble about it and that is the ultimate human being, you know? That is the person that will go far. That, that is where the, 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 the people that become CEOs, the people that own businesses, the people that are um, capable of things on that level because of their hard work and humility and their leadership skills. So, um, I hope that everyone is, you know, staying safe and being productive during these times, like I always say. And if you like what I'm what I'm saying, if you like and comment and subscribe, I upload videos twice a week um, in regards to things like this about 
way that I feel about things in, in the world and you know the, the lessons that I've learned from my life that I want to teach to others. Um, now I also will, in the near future, I plan on starting to do videos uh, related to exercise um, and nutrition tips. Um, so I won't just be sitting here all the time just talking. I, I want to kind of vary up the content a little bit. So um, definitely look forward to that. I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, I will see you guys later this week. Bye-bye.